Hello and welcome to Ask C++ Weekly. From time to time, I'll address some question that was asked by a viewer. This week, a viewer asked about the differences between a standard swap and standard exchange. So let's briefly cover the semantics of each. In pseudocode, what we get with exchange is something like a, B, C. So A, after an exchange is called, A is set to the value that B was, and B is set to the value that C was. So we get something like int x equals 2. And then we can do something like auto y equals standard exchange x4. And now after this statement is done executing, y will be equal to the old value of x, which was 2. x will be equal to the new value, which is 4. And 4 is a constant, and it won't be equal to anything. It'll go away. On the other hand, if we look at swap, then we're going to get something like A value goes to B, and B's value goes to A. So if we have int i equals 3, and j equals 4, and then we can do standard swap, of i and j, and now after this, i is going to equal 4, and j is going to equal 3. Now, so an important note on the semantic differences here is swap is going to require both of its parameters to be non-const references. So if you wanted to do swap i with 4, that's not going to compile. And we'll just double check. Y does not name a type. Oh, that's and we need to include proper headers for these, which I think actually I don't know what headers they're in. They're in utility. All right. So with our call to swap on line twelve we're getting all kinds of errors because it can't take a reference to the value 4. On the other hand, standard exchange for its second parameter can take anything. And it could... Um, bad examples here, but if you did something like this... So it's important to note that exchange is going to do the most efficient thing possible that it can with k in this case. So it takes a universal reference and or a forwarding reference or whatever it's being called right now and it tries to move out of it if it can. If it can't then it does a copy. So it can accept something like a constant or it can accept something like another value and if you did something like some complex object on the stack which obviously isn't going to compile here because exchanging a string with an integer isn't going to work, then it will do a perfect forwarding of this second parameter and move it out for you. Swap, on the other hand, requires both sides to be able, something that can be converted to a non-const reference. So if I wanted to swap here, and these were both strings and this made sense, This cannot possibly compile because, again, there's no way to convert this into a non-const reference. But this, on the other hand, would work. So the value that was in x gets moved to y. The value that's on the right-hand side, as efficiently as possible, gets moved into x. And in swap, 
They're simply exchanging places. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.